Hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of GeoGuessr. Here we are in yesterday's daily challenge location, a very very cool uh, location indeed and what is special about this place is that there really isn't that much to see other than the building that we're in right now plus a little sneak peek outside this door right over here which actually does give a fair amount of clues as to maybe the, the climate that we're in, which uh, leads to a lot of questions, but will probably lead to um, my actual guess. Um, but we're going to get to that in a moment. Now, where do I think this is? Because that's this part um, of the episode. It's time for me to make a guess as to where yesterday's daily challenge was. And, I mean, the architecture, you know, there's a lot of these, like, dome and archways, which you can you can see that and be like, okay, well, you know, these archways that could be in a lot of places. Uh, but the ones that really sort of reveal a lot more are these ones here. Like, I mean, look at this shape. It's kind of a little bit pointy at the top. It's this kind of dome. It looks like it's got a pillar in the middle. So for me, and honestly, I'm not someone who really knows architecture and stuff like that. I don't really know. This is just the kind of feel that I'm getting from this. I think this is somewhere in the former Ottoman Empire, so that's like, uh, that's like, uh, well, I don't think, I don't, I don't, is, is Iran part of it? I don't think it is. Uh, like, like around over here somewhere, maybe Iran, I'm not really sure, but I'm not going to guess Iran. Uh, mostly, I'm not going to guess that because of, again, look through this door here. And then the other place that I think it could be uh, is Morocco, but I'm also not going to guess that because of what's through here. It just doesn't, doesn't feel right. So I guess out of that sort of comes down to guessing Turkey uh, is where I'm going to go. I'm going to go sort of near the Black Sea um, on sort of this side of Turkey, sort of like uh, right around there. That's where I'm going to guess. Not directly on the Black Sea, but sort of near it. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's where my guess is going to be. So let's make a guess very far. And uh, the answer was Morocco. Okay, well, you know, I'm glad I mentioned it then. Uh, it just to, to me, you see, it, we were on the we're on the ocean, which explains a lot, right? Uh, we're on the ocean, so of course we're gonna have a a lot of greenery, a uh, very sort of more humid climate than uh, where we spend most of our time in Morocco when we find these, which is uh, around in this area, and that is very, very different looking. It's super, super dry here. I mean, with a, with a big column of mountains like this, the, the, the nice uh, humidity from the sea really sort of gets all blocked right over here, and you got, uh, well, you, you do got a giant desert all the way around here. So uh, there you go. Very, very cool. Indeed, we're in Morocco. We were in... Wow, we were very we were in Rabat. That's crazy. Um, and uh, there you go. That's where we were, and we were sort of looking out uh, over there. So very very cool. Hopefully you guys, uh, well some of you guys, one of you guys, maybe none, but who you know, hopefully uh, got close. Thirty five and ninety four. Hmm. That's not too good. Not too good at all. Okay. So next round. Well, actually now on to today's daily challenge. Alrighty, here we are in today's daily challenge location, a very, very cool spot indeed. I mean, check this place out. Wow, look at this very, very cool red rock mountain in the distance, this sort of river crossing going on here, these nice trees, little ponds. Oh man, what beauty this is and what an awesome place uh, that we find ourselves in the real question that I've got about this place is where in the world could it be and hopefully that's where you guys can come in tell me down in the comment section below this is the daily challenge that's what the whole point of this section is for you guys to be able to tell me where in the world do you think this is so tell me down in the comment section below uh, put it down there and tell me where in the world do you think this is in tomorrow's video much like in the section you just saw I'm gonna make a guess as to where I think it is honestly this can be in a few places three places to be precise three places in the world I think that this could be I honestly don't know which one it's gonna be if any but I am gonna make uh, I guess I'm gonna make one of those guesses hopefully uh, my guess is correct but whether or not it is I will announce whoever guessed closest out of the uh, viewers of course out of uh, you guys um, as uh, the winner so 
uh, you don't win a prize, but uh, it is pretty awesome for uh, it is pretty awesome to guess, and it is maybe rewarding to uh, be the one who's closest. So put down your guesses. Where in the world do you think we are right now? Okie dokie, folks. Welcome to the main section of today's video, where today we are going to be experiencing the fun and the joy of the three-minute challenge. It's uh, much like the ice bucket challenge. Uh, in that it involves the word challenge, but almost everything that has to do with this uh, with, with this series of videos has the word challenge. Viewer challenge, daily challenge, three minute challenge. I haven't been very creative with my names. I came up for another name um, for the viewer challenge. No, the daily challenge at one point, uh, but I forgot what it was. So there you go. We're keep we're staying with the old classic names: challenge, challenge, and challenge. Well, it's one of the three three minutes. Let's play, and of course, if you guys want to find a link to this challenge, you know, so you can do it along with me before I do it, or if you want to do it after for whatever reason, uh, you can click down in the description below, find a link to that, and you can do it yourself. So, let's start new, of course, because uh, if we would resume, that would be the continuation of uh, today's daily challenge, which would be, you know, uh, again, sort of a, an, an exercise in futility. Okay. So we've got some white lined roads, and uh, we got sort of stickies, but I don't really know if we're going to be in Australia. Uh, we're driving on the right hand side of the road, which is an important factor here. Um, and what do we see on this truck? Do we see anything? We can see, okay, uh, Bofrost. Okay, hmm, interesting. I can't really tell what language that's in. Perhaps it's. Well, I don't really think we're. Well, we could be. We could be north. I mean, the the white lines on the road really makes me think of the. You know, initially of somewhere like uh, Norway or Sweden or Finland. Uh, you know, the nice, uh, beautiful colored leaves make me think that as well. But honestly, there's a lot of places we could be. The language uh, is very hard, but uh, the just the D-I, the D, makes me feel like it's Italian. Unfortunately for me, I don't really know uh, enough about, uh, you know, really many languages uh, to be able to tell. And I didn't really get a good look at that one. We can see right over here, no blue tinge. It makes me think of Norway, since uh, Norwegian license plates uh, wouldn't have a blue tinge, considering uh, Norway is not part of the EU. The blue tinge being uh, that blue section on the left-hand side of uh, European-styled license plates. Um, European-style license plates are just the white horizontal license plates with black numbers. Uh, there are also ones with yellow numbers you can find, uh, but that's usually an indication that we are in uh, somewhere like the Netherlands, uh, France, or the UK, which are usually easy to tell apart from one another. Again, a vehicle with no tinge on that plate. Now, I don't know if Italy has it or not. I actually do. Actually, I'm rather certain Italy does. Norway is just coming to mind. Honestly, I, I haven't seen anything from the language that would make me believe this is Norway. So I really need to see something pretty darn quick, if um if I'm if I'm gonna really start thinking that. What what are we seeing over here? Oh my God, I I can't read that. Okay, well this is very hard. Lots of logging. I still haven't seen any writing. Oh my goodness, am I gonna have to guess? I mean, this this could this see this could be somewhere like uh, Lithuania. This could be Latvia, for all I know. I mean, honestly, I think we're relatively north, but I just haven't seen any kind of language on anything other than that D. But that, but that doesn't tell me anything. It doesn't feel like something uh, from uh, Norway. And nor is this. What is this? What is this? Mason. Oh crap! 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 Throw up! No! No! Oh boy! Well, let's find out where we were. Italy. Oh, we were in Italy. Wow. Okay, we were in Italy. To be honest, uh, I, the climate just didn't say Italy to me. I really. I mean, that was that, that's some climate. I mean, I, I guess I did recognize the language as being Italian. I didn't guess in time. I, I got too caught up, uh, too too caught up wondering where we were in the world. It doesn't happen too often, but too many confusing things. Tried to look for writing, couldn't find it. Sadly, the writing I did see was Italian. I just didn't believe it. I just didn't believe you were in Italy. Here's the weird thing, though. Though, though, Italy does have those EU license plates. 
again, I guess it's one of those things. You can't trust your eyes. You can't trust the plates. The plates always lie. They're probably not mandatory in Italy, um, which is why we didn't see them there. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I mean, I'm fairly certain that in Italy, the EU license plates with the, the blue bar inside of it are, are very popular. They may not be mandatory, which is why we saw some vehicles without them. We saw many vehicles without them, to be honest. And uh, there you go. I mean, we were... We were in Italy, what can I say? I dismissed Italy immediately and went for Norway. Why Norway? Well, because um, uh, because of the climate and because I didn't think it was Sweden and Finland. I, mean, I thought it was at least a sort of a northern country. Norway seemed to fit. Italy did fit the language, though, and that is one of the one thing I ignored, the very little bit of language that I saw. Sad, sad, sad. Well, maybe we can make up with it with some good guesses here. I mean, you know, we can say for fairly certain we're that we're in America right now, which is good. It's a blurry picture. It's, uh, you know, 30 miles an hour on a road that looks like this. To me, that, that pretty much shouts America. I mean, honestly, it is America because, you know, where else could it be and by America? I, of course, I mean, the United States. I'm, I, I, I just call it America. Uh, sometimes I don't always call it that. I call it the States, call it whatever. It doesn't really matter to me. I know that uh, some people have hang-ups on that and... You know, as someone who isn't American, I feel like it doesn't matter what I call it, right? I mean, as long as what I call it is at least sort of, you know, an appropriate name for it. I mean, but, but calling it America is not anything that would offend an American or someone from the United States. So there you go. Um, very nice, you know. It's just that people are like, hey, there's other places in the Americas other than the U.S. And, you know, what? fair criticism, but... You know, as someone who doesn't live in the U.S., I'll just call it America. That's fine. I know that there are other places, including Canada. And, uh, I mean, I could go ahead and name all the other countries in the Americas if um, if I don't count all the island countries because I'd have a lot of problem with that. Shall I do that just for fun? Let's see if I forget one. If Anyone, tell me if I forget one. So let's go down uh, in the order I think they go, and I'm not going to check. All right, so there's Canada, the U.S., Guatemala, Belize, El Salvador. Um, oh, boy, this is where things get kind of tricky. Uh, I'm In no particular order, Nicaragua, Honduras, Costa Rica, Panama, uh, that's, I kind of forget in which order they go, it, they're in the middle, I know Panama's last, I think, then it goes Costa Rica, I don't, Honduras, I already said El Salvador, anyways, uh, okay, so that's, that's them done, um, then we got Colombia, Venezuela, Brazil, Paraguay, Uruguay, Argentina, Chile, um, Bolivia, oh, I mean, I forgot, uh, Guiana, French Guiana, Suriname, or Suriname, never sure about that, uh, I said Bolivia, Ecuador, Peru, so there you go, those are all the countries, except for the island ones, I can try for the island ones, but honestly, I'm never going to get it, uh, this is just a very blurry picture of America, uh, we got big old trees, I'm going to call this the mighty state, did I forget anyone, uh, I didn't forget anyone there, Oh, Chile? Did I forget Chile? Ooh, I'm a dumbass for doing that if I did. Um, okay, uh, Belize, Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Okay, so I got them all except I might... Oh, did I forget Mexico? Whew, I might have forgotten Mexico and Chile, which is super embarrassing if I did. Uh, but I, I just said too many names that, you know, what can I do? Uh, we weren't in the great state of Oregon. We were in fantastic Wisconsin. Um, you know, there you go, Wisconsin. Uh, near Woodruff? Sure, 984. I said I said I wasn't gonna check, but I guess I lied. Uh, you know what can I do? <laughs> I can't believe I might have forgotten Mexico and Chile. Come on, those are some huge places. Especially, you know, I should re I really shouldn't forget Mexico. Like that's it's pretty damn. I mean, it's it's inexcusable to forget Chile as well. Uh, but you know, on the list of countries not to forget, like Mexico is maybe third or fourth and chile is probably sixth but i mean okay all countries are you know created equal and should not be forgotten here's a confusing one i think we're in australia but because of these little stickies that are right over here on the road but that would be really weird wouldn't it if we were in australia uh but i guess we are i mean this is a weird place do we really think this is australia I mean, look at that. We're driving on the left, so we know that much. 
Uh, but look at this climate. Wow, this is a day of bizarre climates. I've got to say, this is just, this is just strange. Do I really, I mean, look at this place. What a strange, maybe this is, maybe this is like a New Zealand? Should I go with New Zealand? Really? Maybe. Maybe I am going to go with New Zealand just because it doesn't look like Australia. So it looks a lot more like it could be New Zealand. I mean, it could be South Africa too. But this is this is just bizarre. Uh, the sort of stickies on the side of the road makes me think this is Australia. But I'm not going to guess Australia just because of the climate. It's two times the climate has fooled me. Fooled me in Italy. Fooled me. Kids driving you mad? Um, okay. Uh, we'll sort them out. National Army Museum. Tamatatoa. Okay. Um... I, I don't know what to make of that, to be honest. Australia or New Zealand? Uh, one of the two, I believe. Uh, keep left and less parking? Okay, I mean, that makes sense, right? Well, maybe you can keep right if you're parking. I guess you can't really park against this sort of guardrail here. My goodness, this is... Uh, did this show anything? No, it doesn't. Did this show anything up here? I mean, I'd like to read this sign. No, okay, this thing about a passing lane. I guess I'm going to have to uh, to guess New Zealand. All right. New Zealand it is. Where in New Zealand? Um, the northern... Uh, no, not the northern island. We're going to go there, say, between Nelson and Christchurch. Go right over here. Make the guess. Yes, New Zealand was the answer, but we weren't there because uh, I don't really know the layout of New Zealand or how things work. North Island, Tongariro National Park. Wow, very, very cool. 30 of 31. Thankfully, I did get the country right on that one, which is a little bit of a stretch because I've uh, I've got I've done some bad guesses so far. We're going to try and pull it back now, though. 48, 15. Honestly, getting over 10,000 seems like a dream right now. So we're going to be trying to do... Uh, seeing something that looks like this, I mean, Saskatchewan comes to mind uh, in Canada. Saskatchewan, as I've said many times before, is sort of known slash mocked as being an uh, extremely flat place. Um, Western Sales. Okay, I don't really know what to make of that, but that's fine. I mean, uh, yeah, okay, that's that's fine. You know, this is a very flat place. Look at this, you know, not much, not too much going on. Maybe I can go and take a look at uh, this truck. Does it say anything specifically on it? Can I move a little bit more forward? No, I, I can't really see anything there. All right, just that, just that. Nope, nothing special about that, or at least nothing remarkable about the side of that truck. Usually, you know, sometimes side of trucks give you uh, locations on them. That's very useful. But honestly, right now, I've got really not much to go on. It's sort of a cloudy day. The picture's not blurry, so I can imagine Canada could be one. Really would like to see, what does that say? Anglia Road. Again, that doesn't help me super much. Hmm. Okay, let's go look. Uh, maybe there's, is there a tint of red in these uh, in these license plates? That could always, no, I don't really think there is. It might have been there. I don't know. Those could, that could be indicative of uh, being in um, Alberta, but honestly, it's a bit of a tough one. There's some big old bus here. Let's go check out this coach, Saskatchewan Transportation Company. Well, you know, I guess that's that. Alaska, Alaska to Calgary. Well, that doesn't really go through Saskatchewan, but we're just going to. I mean, it's Alas. Oh, Alsask. Oh, wow, that is interesting. I mean. I thought it said Alask, which I guess I just, you know, I guess that's fine. That's just missing um, this S here. I knew it didn't say Alaska, but um, I don't know where that is. I was going to Calgary, so we probably find ourselves, uh, I don't know, near Swift Current. Let's make the guess. And the answer was, I mean, kind of, yeah. Uh, we actually find ourselves over here near Kindersley, Rosetown. Very cool. 45, 64. That might be the uh, big savior here. And uh, this one's also going to be a bit of a tricky one, honestly. Uh, Mexico is the first thing that comes to mind, but we're going to have to figure that out. It's got some signs that we're turning kilometers 59. Again, we could be in Brazil. It's a bit tough to tell, actually. What do we see? 
Oh yes, this is this is uh, this is Mexico right over here. Uh, very sort of rounded turning sign. The the ones that we find um, in the sort of the the rest of North America, that'd be in Canada and the U.S. Uh, are are very blurry, uh, are very sharp. The edges on those uh, sort of turning sign. It's where uh, in Mexico, which is where we are now, we can see we're in the 40, 60 kilometers from somewhere or to somewhere. Um, we, it, it's a lot more rounded. In my mind, I call it cartoony, but it's it's not really the case. It's just more rounded uh, edges that, to me, makes it look uh, more, um, I don't know, more fun. So we're in a Ruta 2010. Okay, I'm, I'm down with that. What is What does this say? Mm, I don't mean to I, I hmm, that's something uh, that I that's something that I don't really know I can't really tell I mean that looks like a that looks like an oil company logo to be honest a rainbow and some sort of nice flowery pattern that seems like I mean it looks a lot like the BP logo kind of but a rainbow uh, but to me that's what I imagine an oil company logo looking like like hey let's make this the most innocent looking um, symbol possible when uh, in reality you know we we all know we all know what's going on we all know what's going on here but um i mean the great thing about mexico is you can always stop on this uh, road in the middle of nowhere uh to get uh yourselves uh, a nice corona and whatever else i mean it's really interesting i wonder i wonder how much corona pays these buildings to just paint themselves in corona colors i mean you know corona have i really ah I guess I've kind of had a Corona maybe once. It's really not something I would ever purchase other than if I was in Mexico. And uh, the few times that I have been to Mexico, um, I was too young to uh, enjoy a Corona uh, myself. But uh, in my adult life, I've had a Corona maybe, shit, maybe once. I wouldn't. I wouldn't drink it, but you know, on a special occasion, like if you if you go if you go to Mexico and you go to one of those nice resorts and stuff like that, you know, you you can't blame yourself for enjoying yourself a, a Corona with a a nice uh, a wedge of lime in there or like a pina colada on the beach. I mean, something you might never order yourself, but uh, you know, it is quite delicious, and you know, it's the kind of drink you have on occasion. We find ourselves sort of near where I actually guess, down over here, um, 212 kilometers away. Actually, it's a pretty good guess, 4,353. Really, we uh, ended up saving the round at the end there because we did some pretty critical mistakes in the beginning. Um, we didn't even make a guess on our first guess. We saw some Italian. I noticed it as being Italian. I said, Ita Italy, 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 and then I decided it wasn't Italy. I thought it was Norway. Why? I don't know, the climate seemed a little bit more Norwegian, although not Norwegian, especially not uh, this region over, is it this region over here? Because this straight up looks like Mars. Um, but it did look like it could have been other regions of Norway, maybe Sweden, maybe Finland. I went originally in my mind with Norway because of the license plate, but that's just a silly thing. Never trust the license plates, they always lie. Um, then we were in New Zealand, got that one, uh, sort of right, uh, Oregon is not Wisconsin, but honestly, how the hell was I supposed to get the state on that one, Saskatchewan is indeed Saskatchewan, and I'm glad I said it before we saw the bus, and Mexico is indeed Mexico, glad I said it before I saw the big sign that said it, so, all in all, actually, not that bad of a sum up there, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode, and as always, I will be seeing you guys next time. Oh yeah, cue the royalty free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on everybody, get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh, yeah. Have a good one.